Hello, this is Mr. Mobility once again. This is a USB Type-C to Type-C charging cable and brick. How is it different from the regular USB Type-A to Type-C chargers that have been the most popular all around the world? The first thing you're going to notice about the adapter or the charging brick is that it has a USB Type-C slot. That's what it has. The Type-C plug fits in, the other Type-C plug fits in. So this kind of charging cable is called a reversible cable. It means that it doesn't matter what end you use, both of them are Type-C and will fit into the adapter or the charging brick. Now. The regular type A to type C charging uh, cable and adapter that have been popular around the world for a long time, at least for a few years, you have that bigger slot at one end and a type C at the other end. And then the type A port on the charger, on the charging brick. Now, the beauty of having this is that in addition to other benefits and advantages, you can actually use this cable to connect two Type-C smartphones to one another. And should you need to use one to charge the other, you can do that. You can move files across the two of them. Some more modern laptops no longer support the Type-A slot, especially the slim profile laptops. So it means you can use this to connect your smartphone to those type of laptops whether for charging or for moving files, whatever else you want to do. The top manufacturers in the world have adopted the Type-C to Type-C charger and cable. Apple just crossed over <laughs> to the Type-C field and this is what they offer. They offer a charging adapter or brick with a Type-C slot and a reversible Type-C cable like this. Google Pixel, this is what you find as well. Samsung. In their higher-end devices, they have this type of chargers as well. I haven't bought a low-end Samsung in a while, so I don't know what obtains at the low-end, but I remember that my Samsung Galaxy S23 had a Type-C to Type-C cable. Yeah. Uh -huh. You can pick up a Type-C to Type-C charger from almost any of your favorite mobile phone shopping spots. Amazon, Best Buy, uh, JBest, AliExpress, you know, it's it's becoming widespread enough especially when you have brands like apple google and samsung behind that kind of shift you know that it's happening fast enough for example if you're a resident in the united states this is probably the most common type of charger in the market right now so certain european countries too i imagine it will be the same there are still countries around the world where the old school type A to type C charger is what is common, but gradually they will catch up as well. Type C to type C chargers tend to not be among the fastest chargers in the market. Why is that? Usually they support power delivery. Power delivery is an industry wide, is it, is it the word standard, the standard the word to use? But pardon me, I can't think of <laughs> any other word now. So their yeah, power delivery it's an industry-wide standard that any phone manufacturer is free to adopt. And it's what Apple uses, it's what Google uses, it's what Samsung uses, which is why the fast charging on Apple iPhones, Google Pixel phones, and Samsung Galaxy phones are not the most cutting edge in the market. So usually you're looking at um, 18 watts to 45 watts fast charging. So if you're looking for a Type-C to Type-C charger, of this sort, you're likely to be restricted to a maximum of 45 watt fast charging at this time. That can change at any time. In fact, it might already have changed and I am not aware. But just understand that you might not find the fastest charging standards if you go hunt for a Type-C to Type-C charger. Again, like I have said, there are no downsides to using this. It just gives you more versatility. Right? Using the Type-C Type-C charger simply gives you more versatility 
with charging your phones, connecting to laptops, connecting from one phone to the other. If you've never connected two phones together before, I think you should give it a try. It's, a, it's actually fun to be able to move files from one phone to the other without going wireless. No, I know some of you will say that is not fun. But for some of us who grew up tinkering with cables and wires, <laughs> it, is, it is fun. It is a lot of fun. But the greatest benefit, I think, is that if you have one phone with a massive battery capacity and you have another with a smaller battery capacity and it's dying out, you can use the phone with a bigger battery capacity to charge the one whose battery is running out if you have a Type-C to Type-C cable. It's a beautiful world. Let me have your comments about this. I'll see you again next time.